Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Keith Annis and I am the program manager for the certificate program in student affairs and higher education administration. I want to thank you for sharing some of your time with me today. I'll be starting this presentation by telling you a little bit more about the advantages of working in student affairs, um, cover some of our program details, and then review how you also can enroll uh, in the certificate program. Please feel free to submit your questions via the Q&A function during this presentation, uh, and we'll get those answered as time permits. Uh, otherwise, I would definitely encourage you to email uh, any questions that don't get addressed today to our extension-education at berkeley.edu email address, and I'll personally respond to help clarify. That said, I am confident that this presentation will help shed plenty of light on this program. So let's get started. Student affairs is a growing and burgeoning field. It involves theory and skills from psychology to sociology, anthropology, and really takes a look at holistic human development. When we think about student affairs, we're really talking about the concepts of learning and development. There are some key foundational models and questions that we explore, including how do we create experiences that help students develop holistically while they're in college? You'll learn about the, the history of student affairs in the evolving higher education landscape. You'll also focus on some new areas of student life and student affairs, including how technology has impacted the student experience how budgets affect higher education and student culture. Our field continues to grow and evolve, which means there's really a lot of different professional paths that one can pursue. The courses in this program explore how student affairs professionals can support students in their personal, academic, and professional growth throughout college. This also means working to understand students' diverse identities and backgrounds in order to help adapt your advising and administrative approach. Through this program, you'll also learn about the history of American higher education from its founding through today. You'll explore student development theories, the university's organizational structure, and social justice issues. Much of the college experience is based on the student's environment. So how do we create programs and initiatives that provide the best possible opportunities for students to make meaning of their experience and the environment around them. How do we work with students to foster active engagement in ways that enhance their personal growth? These types of questions will be addressed and answered in this program. How will your resume stand out after this program? And how can you take advantage of the career possibilities after completing this certificate? Well, coupled with your bachelor degree, having the certificate on your resume opens up numerous career opportunities at uh, varying types of academic institutions and at varying levels of education. For example, here's a list of just some of the potential career areas that you can pursue, including jobs and admissions, orientation, residential programs, multicultural affairs, student unions, and more. So how can you realize these impactful career opportunities? Well, you come to Berkeley. UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education arm of the flagship campus UC Berkeley. Since 1891, we've been assisting students in reaching their potential uh, and their professional goals. We offer dozens of professional certificates and specialized programs and more than 2,000 classroom and online courses. We pride ourselves on academic excellence. All of our courses and instructors, as in this program, are approved by the appropriate campus department. In particular, this certificate is fully supported by and was developed with UC Berkeley's Division of Student Affairs. Our certificates require academic advisory boards comprising of campus faculty and industry leaders who review the curriculum to ensure that it's up to date and in touch with emerging trends 
and hot topics. So let's dive into the details of our certificate program in student affairs and higher education administration. So for starters, why extension? Our program covers a wide variety, wide range rather of important and timely topics with a total of 180 instructional hours or 12 semester units. You can complete our program in as little as one academic year uh, is now uh, available 100% online and courses are offered in the fall and spring semesters. Students generally take one or two courses per term. We also have a fantastic articulation agreement with USF to transfer credits towards a master's degree in organization and leadership. So diving in a little more detail on that, uh, you may apply the 12 semester units earned from this certificate towards the University of San Francisco's Master's in Organization and Leadership. You'll still need to apply for the USF program, and if you're accepted, you'll only need to complete an additional 18 units to earn their degree. Let's now turn our attention towards earning this certificate. You'll need to complete all four of the required courses, which are three semester units each with a minimum of a 3.0 GPA and do so within a five year span. You might be wondering how much time you'll be spending on your studies. As a general guideline for every hour spent in the classroom, you should expect to spend about two hours outside of class time studying. So. If you have a class that meets three hours a week, as these courses do, you'll be spending about six hours of studying for a total of nine hours per week per course. Because many of our students are working professionals who want Berkeley's academic quality, we offer courses in the evenings so that you can continue to work while you study. Here are the four required courses in the certificate. Please keep in mind that scheduling for these courses changes from one term to the next. First, history of American higher education. Next, uh, academic and student affairs organizations. Third is social justice issues in higher education. And student development in college, theory to practice. Of course, all current course descriptions, scheduling information is available on the certificate program website by clicking on the course and following the link to the course description page. So um, how will you be taking these courses? As I mentioned, this program is offered 100% online um, through a live online modality. So you'll take your courses in this live online format, meaning that there are specific times listed in the Pacific time zone when you'll be joining the instructor and your classmates for meetings via Zoom. Uh, we use Canvas for our course content. So that's where you'll find your syllabus, download your readings, and ultimately submit assignments. Now, earning the certificate is really a simple three-step process. First, register for the certificate and pay the non-refundable registration fee. We recommend you do this before starting your third course in the certificate. So a lot of students will take the first one or two, make sure it's the right fit for them, and then uh, dedicate themselves to the certificate by uh, registering and paying the fee. Then complete all of your required courses with an overall minimum 3.0 GPA and a grade of C or better within five years. Probably, one of the biggest benefits here is that you actually pay as you go. So you don't pay for the entire certificate all at once. Instead, you pay for each course at one at a time in your time. So our prices vary based on each course and are subject to change from term to term. But in total, you can anticipate the certificate costing around $3,500. Now, uh, this does not include your textbooks or the one-time 150 certificate registration fee. Finally, once you've completed all of your courses, contact us and you'll receive your certificate. 
Now, looking at the program, uh, a big question is who you'll learn from. You'll learn from instructors who are practitioners in the field, uh, skilled experts who are deeply vested in your success. They are passionate about sharing their knowledge with you and helping you achieve your professional goals. They bring to the classroom concepts that will illuminate topics from real world examples from their job experience. With your fellow students, you will work through examples, gain firsthand knowledge through case-based scenarios, and conduct interactive projects. Some of our instructors include Mike Hofshire, PhD, and Anthony Garrison Engbrecht, PhD. Dr. Hofshire is a student affairs and higher education professional, educator, consultant, and speaker with a passion for student success. Aside from teaching within this program, Dr. Hofshire currently serves as the Assistant Dean for Admissions and Student Affairs in the Wartime School of Optometry at University of California, Berkeley. More specifically, his experience spans multiple functional areas, including academic success, first year experience, gender and sexuality centers, new student orientation, housing and residence life, and tutoring centers. Dr. Garrison Engbrecht currently serves as the Vice President of Student Life and Title IX Coordinator for St. Mary's College of California, along with teaching as a Berkeley Extension instructor. Dr. Garrison Engbrecht earned a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology from Loyola University, New Orleans, a Master's of Arts in Education and Psychology from Pepperdine University, and a Master of Arts in Theology from Loyola Marymount University. He completed his PhD in education with an emphasis in culture and curriculum at Chapman University. So the next set of our equation is looking at what our graduates do. Well, our graduates do big things. We're really proud of our students' success. Many of our instructors share stories of former students who have landed positions and we are always excited to hear from those who have gone on to secure a position in the industry after completing the certificate. Here are a couple of our recent graduates and their current positions. Jennifer Bevington is an academic analyst at UC Berkeley and is focused on serving graduates and managing strategic academic affairs. Blaine Jones is also at UC Berkeley as the Director of Admissions and Student Services Supervisor for the UC Graduate School of Journalism, where he oversees the design, planning, and implementation of the Master of Journalism application review and selection process. Finally, you'll also find Alice Young on campus, where she is the Assistant Director of Admissions at the School of Law. She is passionate about access to higher education for first generation and underrepresented students, so spends some of her time volunteering at College Track, which is a nonprofit that helps Oakland Unified High School students navigate the college application and financial aid process. You can read more about these two and many of our other graduates on our Voices blog via the website. So let's take a look at our next steps and how you too can get started. If you are new to Extension, you'll need to create a free student account through our website. You'll use this account to enroll and pay for your courses, review your grades, and track your progress throughout the program. Then you'll take your first course in the certificate. You can take the courses in any order that fits your schedule. The curricular pathway is really up to you. We also suggest filling out our newsletter sign up from our website. You'll receive monthly emails about upcoming courses and new blog posts. So uh, looking at uh, some questions and uh, a couple have come through. In what order should students take the courses? So students, uh, as mentioned, are welcome to complete the four required courses in any order. Uh, students generally take uh, from one to two courses per term. Uh, and can plan on um, completing the certificate um, generally in two to four terms. So this is generally something that's completed uh, in one to two years. 
Another is what are the requirements for enrolling certificates? So the certificate program uh, requires a bachelor's degree. Uh, again, the bachelor's degree does not need to be submitted until you actually register for the certificate. Uh, so in theory, you can take the first course or two, make sure it's the right fit. And then once you register for the certificate, also um, send in to our office your e-transcript from your school of record. Uh, looking at uh, more info on the costs. So the certificate has an estimated cost of about $3,500. Um, again, that's not including course materials or registration fees. The certificate is not all paid up at front. As I mentioned, it's rather it's paid course by course. Um, and so it's important to note that while these fees can change, uh, this is a good way uh, as a benefit to also spread the cost of the program uh, through uh, a, a longer timeline. Another question is, how do you register for the program? OK, so um, you uh, by registration, uh, again, you're declaring really your intention to complete the curriculum. So we recommend you do this after having taken a course or two. Uh, make, it, make sure it's the right fit. Um, and, and then from then, again, you simply submit your one-time non-refundable $150 registration fee, uh, complete your student account profile, uh, and along uh, with that, send in your e-transcript verifying that you've completed your bachelor's degree. And are there any courses offered asynchronously? So all of our courses in this program are, are offered synchronously, so live online. So there's fixed dates. Uh, and they are based on a course schedule um, wherein you will attend class online via Zoom. All right. Well, that looks like uh, all the questions that we have now. I would also just again encourage you any questions that come up, uh, any doubts that you might have about this program, feel free to email uh, directly. There it is. Um, you can find me at extension education at Berkeley dot edu. Uh, I'll be happy to uh, address any questions that might come up uh, directly and help clarify things. So thank you all again for your time and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you.